Hey guys, what's up? This is Mac Mania Tutorials here today, and today I'm going to be demonstrating my export settings for ScreenFlow. Um, I export in HD, and here's a little movie I just made for this video. Hey guys, what's up? This is Mac Mania Tutorials, and this is an example video for my ScreenFlow exporting settings movie. So that is just a little video, and to export it, go to your file drop-down menu and hit export or Apple E. And then don't worry, just name it. And I'm just going to hit example and set it to the desktop. And don't worry about the preset. Just hit customize, settings, and then go to H.264 and click it. So you can change the encoding from best quality to faster encode for just a single pass because it's only going to be on the web. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. Now just go to size and change from compressor native to uh, 1280 by 720 HD and don't go down here because uh, this is just a lower file format hit OK then go to sound settings and leave all this the same make sure it's stereo not mono because stereo makes it left and right not just one speaker and then for the audio quality you want to have good audio quality uh, just hit better and then I usually do uh, 192 kbps as a target bit rate hit ok and then hit ok again and then one more thing you need to do is go to the dimensions tab and then hit scale to custom size and hit 1280 by 720 and then you're ready to export it should be really fast so I'm just going to export it So it's going really fast because this is only a 9 second video that we're exporting. So it's done exporting. Apple H to hide. And now it's appeared on our desktop. And I'm just going to open it up in QuickTime. And then full screen. Hey guys, what's up? This is Mac Mania Tutorials. And this is an example video for my ScreenFlow exporting settings movie. So as you can tell, it's a very good uh, image quality. So it doesn't look as great as it does on YouTube because I have a 24 inch screen so it's not the best quality but it's very good for YouTube and for screens like uh, laptops, like uh, MacBooks and MacBook Pros and maybe like smaller iMacs. So um, this has just a, been a quick tip for, uh, for screen flow exporting and uh, I hope you subscribe to Mac Mania Tutorials. And I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.